Hello and welcome back to my channel Tech Sida. Guys, how are you all doing? Once again, I have a new package ready to unbox with you all. So here we go. Let's cut this Amazon packet. It is no surprise that I'm going to unbox this gimbal with you all today. So this is a gimbal from a company called Hohem. The name of the gimbal is iStudyX. It is a 3-axis palm gimbal for smartphone. This is the retail packaging of the company itself. Here at the back, you can see all the features. I will be explaining that in detail in the video. Please watch the video till the end. This is from the company Hohem and Hohem makes so many other gimbals as well. This is one of it and here we will be now unboxing it. This is all sealed. So let me take my knife and cut open this packet. Here we go. Okay, let's tear it open now. Uh, this is a well packed box. I can say the look and feel of the overall packaging is very premium. Okay, so this is the overall package. It is uh, inside this plastic box. Let me push it open. So this is how the box slides open. Really premium feeling guys. Wow. So this is the brand new Hohem ISTD 3-axis palm gimbal for smartphone. The first item in this box I would like to take and show you is this tripod stand. A mini one but a very sturdy and a good one. So it will definitely have a big role to play when we are making videos the next one is this uh, cable to charge the gimbal it is from type a to type c cable so this gimbal charges with type c cable let me show you the length of the cable it is just about 30 centimeter and i think it's long enough to charge any gimbal the next item in the box is this strap the strap is of really good quality i will be showing you in a while where to use it so let's keep this aside and let's look at the main item itself and that is this gimbal so guys you can see by the touch and feel and look of itself this gimbal is really premium and especially in this white color it looks really really good over here uh, at the side we have this sticker uh, it can be removed this is quick guide sticker you can remove it later and guys really this gimbal is really portable and really light the top look of the gimbal is as such and here we have the x logo and on the side we can see this is how the gimbal folds and here we have the c port for charging the gimbal and this hole is for resetting the gimbal at the bottom we have hohem branding this button is for recording video and clicking photo and this is for switching on the gimbal this is the joystick for panning your smartphone we have bluetooth signal and we have led for the battery status so this gimbal is definitely very portable very small you can see it fits right into my palm over here you can see the steps to unfold this gimbal i'll be showing that in a while and this is the slider for zooming uh, in your smartphone while you're recording the video okay now let's unfold this gimbal the first step to do so is we have to unscrew this plastic screw over here so once you unscrew it you can unfold it but make sure that you look at this lock so when you it unfold it and you have to make sure that this stand becomes completely parallel then you screw it tight once again so this is the first step the second step is to unlock this portion of the gimbal make sure that is unlocked I will show you how it gets locked this is the way it gets locked so when it is locked you should not own your gimbal so make sure that you unlock it before you own the gimbal so this is the second most important part all right now to the third step so we can see here at the bottom we again have another lock that is the main rotation of the uh, handle with the gimbal so make sure that it's unlocked so you can see here it is also locked it is a small plastic hook so this is the way to unlock it make sure that you unlock it again before you own the gimbal so once it is unlocked it will freely rotate once we are done with that now we are almost ready to insert our cell phone and start recording you can notice here in this bracket in the cell phone holder we have this arc this is to ensure that it does not touch your power button and shut down your cell phone and you can also see here this level to ensure that you know where to insert your cell phone in which direction in this bracket all right guys this is all the basic setup we have this tripod that i showed you in the beginning it goes into tight 
fit here under the handle. This is the way to screw it tight. This uh, tripod provides an extra grip to our uh, gimbal. When you are recording it and when you are holding it, it provides a firm grip. And when we are doing a time lapse or when you want to keep the gimbal when it is idle, you can also keep it on the table or on the floor with this tripod. Whenever you are not using the gimbal to record any video, make sure to lock this part and the topmost part like this and of course the part where there is the lock and the handle. Uh, by doing so, you will be saving your gimbal because it will lock all angles and you can carry it around easily. If you do not lock it, then it will be all flimsy and it will keep rotating which is not safe. One other important practice is when you are not using the gimbal, ensure to rest it on its tripod so that dust will not get into its motors. As I've told you that we get a wrist strap for this uh, gimbal. So there is a hole in the handle where you can insert this thread. So you can use this safety strap whenever you are traveling with the gimbal. That is a good feature that this gimbal provides. Now let's look at this package. What else do we have? So let's remove this. So here you can see we have this ISTD manual. If you want, you can read it. We also get a pouch to put in our gimbal. So this is a really soft and really good quality pouch and the feel is really soft and really good guys we have a hohem branding as well in this pouch and we get this string strap to just close the pouch now let's put this gimbal inside the pouch but before that make sure that you fold it like this and screw it tight so that it will not open so this is how it folds into a very small compact piece so here we have the pouch we can insert this gimbal whichever way you want but when you are inserting the tripod ensure that the screw is facing up so that it does not scratch your gimbal so guys you can see this gimbal is very compact very light and it's very easy to carry around so guys i have another piece of the same device this is my personal one i've been using this for last eight months and it has not failed me not even once trust me guys this is black in color and i've been using this rigorously and you can see some scratches even in this handle i have dropped it as well but it has not stopped working guys i'm really in love with this device and since this is a very efficient device very small compact and handy i have decided to give one of these to any of you lucky winners all you need to do is share this video with your friends and comment anything that you like about this gimbal in the comment section and hit that like button and if you have not already subscribed you need to subscribe as well so guys this device is going to be really really useful if you are a vlogger or you like to make YouTube videos or you do a lot of traveling the price of this gimbal is just about 5,500 rupees so it is available both in Flipkart and Amazon the link for which will be given in the description if you are interested to buy one other good thing about this gimbal is that it has a really good battery life once you recharge it full, you can continuously shoot non-stop for almost one and a half hour. Trust me guys, I have never had to recharge in between the shots. And other good thing is it recharges very fast. You can also recharge it with your power bank as well. The gimbal also has a screw hole at the bottom of the handle where you can mount it on a tripod stand to shoot it from greater heights. The gimbal has a reset button here just below the charging port. By any chance, if your gimbal malfunctions, then you can reset your gimbal to make it work like as it was in the first time. The gimbal also has all of its quick access button at the right places in the handle itself, which makes the gimbal very handy and easy to use. The handle and the body of the gimbal is made from a very good quality carbon fiber. It does not feel cheap at all. I've dropped a couple of times and other than few scratches, it has not really damaged the gimbal. The gimbal is compact and trust me guys, it looks really premium. The gimbal when folded becomes very compact. The gimbal itself weighs about 259 grams and it can handle any cell phone of any shape and size provided that it is not more than 280 grams. The operating time of this gimbal is 8 hours and the battery size of this gimbal is 2000 mAh. To power on the device, press the power button for 2 or 3 seconds and the Bluetooth LED will blink along with the battery status. 
The next process would be to connect your gimbal to your cell phone via Bluetooth. So you will need to do this for the first time. Search for the gimbal in your cell phone and pair it. This is a very simple process. Note that each gimbal will have its own serial number. Once your device is connected to the gimbal, then you can download the app called Hohem and then you can use its features like the one you are seeing here on the screen. This is face track feature of the Hohem app. It will automatically track my face and turn the gimbal according to the movement I make in front of it. This is not just only for face but you can also track objects and this is a very very handy feature especially if you are traveling alone and you are trying to shoot. One important point that you must remember before you switch on your device is to ensure that your cell phone is balanced right so that you do not load too much to the motors of the gimbal. The true potential of the gimbal is achieved when we use the native Hohem app. So let's launch that Hohem app and let me show you some of the features of the Hohem app. Once the Hohem app is launched, it will automatically connect to your cell phone and then you will need to press the start button. Once you press the start button, you will see the camera interface as such. The first option that you get in this interface of Hohem app is moment. When you select that option, you get these presets of video shoot formats already inbuilt in the app. The first one is inception, the second one is fantastic rotation and the third one is panoramic video. You can see the preview on the left hand side as well. And the fourth one is smart motion time lapse. Fifth one is Dolby zoom. And the sixth one is dynamic. And the last one that you can see over here is lucky. To start shooting in the particular video format is very easy. All you need to do is go and select the option from the varieties available and just press start. Here I have selected inception and the gimbal will reset to its original position and then it will start shooting the video in that particular preset format that you have selected. You can see the gimbal shoots in a very perfect smooth motion and after the video shoot is done, the device will automatically save the video in your cell phone and again reset back to its original position. Even the pan mode of this gimbal is really smooth. This gimbal gives us 320 degree view of pan. Here you can see I am panning from left to right using the joystick in the handle and you can see the pan is really smooth. There is no at all any jerk in between. So guys this is a really smooth gimbal. The motor works really smooth. There is no noise whatsoever. It's really silent and smooth. For better visualization for you all to understand the pan mode, here is a sample footage. You can see how smooth is the pan from left to right or even from right to left. This is 320 degree view of the whole mountain range here in Darjeeling. You can see it is very smooth. The other mode of recording that this gimbal provides is tilt that is top to bottom or bottom to top. This also provides 320 degree angle of view. Let me now show you quick button feature of this gimbal. This right hand side button when you click it once it is used to toggle between portrait mode and landscape mode. The other one on the left hand side this button is used to start recording a video if you are in the video mode and when you press it again it can be used to stop the video. If you are in the photo mode the same button can be used to take photos and the joystick in the middle is used to pan or tilt or even rotate. Let me now show you some other features on the left hand side of the Hohem camera app. Here you can switch between front and back camera. We also have zoom. Here you can see on the screen the Z. This Z stands for zoom. So when you have selected it, you can use the slider in the handle to zoom in and zoom out. Here I will show you, you are zooming out and we can zoom in as well very smooth just by using the slider in the handle and without having to touch the screen. However, we can zoom in and zoom out with the help of our finger on the screen as well. The other one F stands for focus. So you can focus on anything or you can defocus with the help of the slider on the screen or you can also use the slider from the handle to do the same.
If you want to shoot your video in motion time lapse, then all you need to do is select the option and click on this plus icon that is your point A and then your camera will rotate itself and you can select the point B where you want to stop recording your motion time lapse. And then all you need to do is press start and the camera will move to the point A location that you have selected and then it will motion time lapse to point B and then it will save the video. This is how motion time lapse works. The other feature that is available is slow motion which is self explanatory. I don't need to explain that. If you press on the setting icon, you can select different video resolution. If you want to change, you can change it from here. And now if you click on the icon of gimbal, then these are individual settings that you can change for the gimbal. And if you click on the more uh, icon, you can see the details about the gimbal itself. There's nothing much to see here so let's go back to the gimbal icon and see the settings if you click on the working mode of the gimbal you can choose various options by which you can start shooting a video the first one is pan and tilt follow second one is pan follow third one is all lock and the last one is pov that is all follow so you can choose any of these modes to shoot your video let's go back if you choose now the follow speed then you can even choose the speed of the follow that is how fast your uh, gimbal will respond so you can either choose slow or medium or fast so let's go back there are other options over here you can see so many options you can play and use it according to the need of your shoot by the way the app also provides filters if you want to use it to shoot your videos so guys, though the gimbal looks very small and compact, it's really feature packed, especially when we use along with Hohem app. This gimbal is really user friendly and very easy to use. That is why I'm giving one of these away to any of you lucky winners. All you need to do is do as I've told you in the video. If you want to know more about the giveaway, please read the details in the description below. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video this far. I really appreciate. If this is your first time watching my channel, I would like you to subscribe if you like tech related videos. So until next time guys, do take care and stay safe. Bye bye.